Hello, my name is Frank Rohr. I'm President and Chief Scientist for Delta Waterfowl. And I'm going to talk to you this morning about uh, color variation in snow geese. You can see I had a good hunt and I was able to get a bunch of geese, particularly some blues. And I have four blue geese and one snow goose. But let's turn them over because these blues actually have a fair amount of variation in their color, particularly on their belly. White geese, all white. This is a dark blue goose. See it's got its dark blue all the way down in the belly. This one comes mid-belly, just a little on the chest. And this blue goose has just some blue speckling on its, on, uh, its neck. This color variation in geese is controlled by a single gene. Okay, The gene has two different forms. Okay, So you get one gene from mom, one gene from dad. This goose is a homozygous. It has two blue genes and so its whole belly is blue. This is a white goose, two white genes, all white. These are the interesting ones. These are the intermediates. Remember from high school biology, your B and your W. They got one blue gene from one parent, dad, and mom gave them a white gene or, or the other way around. Now, this variation in, in these guys, is, is, the cause of this is not known to me. It's probably another modifier gene, but, but these are the heterozygotes. This color variation was confusing to early biologists, and in fact, they categorized the blue goose as a separate species from snow geese. But along the 60s or 70s, a couple of great waterfowl biologists figured this stuff out. And in 1983, we merged them, and these are all now considered snow geese. So that's the color variation in geese, controlled by a single gene trait with two different forms of the gene. Thank you.